Hey everybody, my name is 16 Shadow. Welcome back to the Let's Play Nothing. Welcome to the discussion video. So, I just realized my recording was shit, so I'm gonna try it again. So, yes, I recorded this twice. So, as I was trying to say, this is a discussion for the newly fan made game uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, which is an original Game Boy game released back in the day, in the 90s, which you can play also as a Super Game Boy, but there's been a fan made game that that has updated graphics, updated the gameplay, updated like literally everything you could imagine on Windows, not Mac, if you're on Mac, I'm sorry, like myself. And it's called Another Metroid 2 Remake, as in AM2R Return of Samus. So, this game was not crowdfunded, it was not kickstarted, it was just purely made out of the love of the franchise. Now, this game was apparently been in development for 10 years. Now, I'm not the biggest person that knows about ROM games, you know, ROM hack games, or fan made games, or anything like that. Now, if when I hear, I hear. But this one has been pretty freaking big as of late uh, for, you know, the Metroid franchise because there's not many people, you know, made Metroid fan games, which I'm guessing, but there's been like two or three I, I'm aware of, but still. And this game looks fucking amazing. Now, I can't play. I'm not a Windows user. I don't even have a Windows. My sister does, but I don't. So, I can't play it at all. And um, the footage you are seeing is actually a beta uh, demo footage from two to three years ago by the people that actually made this game. And um, I'm sorry about that. I don't have an updated uh, trailer for it, so I'm sorry. But um, this game is fucking it looks fucking amazing. It looks great. So, the thing is, Nintendo has recently announced, and by the way, this game has only been out for two days, two to three days, as you when you're seeing this right now, has recently announced a DMCA, which I didn't know. I had to ask my fellow Metroid uh, fan, which is my, uh, the biggest one I'm, I'm aware of, uh, close to my friends. Uh, Jazawa Toad, please go subscribe to him if you anything. Subscribe follow him on Twitter, whatever you got it, YouTube. So, he told me uh, DMCA, which I didn't know, is a decease and assist. Basically saying, Nintendo is asking the creator to please take down the footage and or, not the footage, sorry, the game from their website uh, so no one can download it any anymore. Because it is in their rights to say that they can't download it. It is their property, it is their copyright, it is everything they have. Music and looks everything it's their own right to, to tell them to please take it down which is sad to say but it's very very true now i have to say right away if you don't have the link to this game and you want to play it, i would say go to the website right away which will be in the link to the description below which hopefully i remember doing that because i'm kind of bad at doing that but still if if i didn't put a link in the description below please tell me in the comments below right away but um if if anything i do have a tweet on uh, my Twitter that's that links it exactly to the to Twitter or to the Twitter to the download link. I retweeted it by a fan uh, called Nycat Ten Hours on YouTube, uh, on YouTube on Twitter. And if anything you can't find a retweet, I put it in my favorites so you can find it right away. And hopefully that link still works. I'm not too sure if it will or not uh, due to the time to this video coming out, which is literally on Monday. So that's gonna be pretty crazy right there. So. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest Metroid fan. I am not. I'll let you know. And I've I have every single Metroid game besides I guess you could say one or two or one and a half really depending because I don't have Metroid Prime Hunters for Hunt for the, which I know it's a demo on the, the DS, but you know. Um, I don't have that, and I don't have Super Metroid, which is literally the best one. Everybody tells me, you know, that are the Metroid Prime games, which I'm aware of. So I have Collector's Edition, everything. So. So, I am very curious of how the game is going to play. I, mean, I would love to play myself. I would like to try it. I'm not the biggest Metroid fan, but, you know, maybe there's a game that can really push me into it. Oh, by the way, sorry. I am missing uh, Metroid, uh, the, clax, the classic one for the Game Boy Advance, but still. Anyways, uh, besides that, uh, if you like I said, if you really want to go play it, I would say go download it right away. And they'll put in, like, your... Dropbox or somewhere that you can keep the f an extra file in case something ever happens to you or your computer or anything like that because well 
which is say a lot more people are going to be asking for this game in the next couple of months, days, weeks, even years from here on out. And, you know, you that you could be that lifesaver that could like, hey, hey, here's a link in the description below for like a video saying, hey, download the link or something like that. But still, or maybe you got a friend or maybe you could put it on Twitter or fucking Google search it somehow and then there's a download link. I, I, I don't know. But all I know is that you can help out the Metroid fan community about this. Now, it's actually very convenient that this game came out the same time as Metroid, Metroid's uh, 30th anniversary, which is not, you know, uh, this is not a part of the Metroid uh, 30th anniversary. Not at all. Uh, Nintendo, I don't, I don't know what the hell they're doing with the franchise. I mean, yeah, we got Federation Force coming out. Whatever. And <laughs> no one's looking forward to Metroid uh, Federation Force. No one is. No one is. Pri Prime Federation Force. Everybody's wanting to play this game, which is not embarrassing because it looks freaking amazing. And I don't get why Nintendo just doesn't ask them to, hey, if you push, if you put this game down, if you if you take the game down on your website, we will gladly uh, help put this game on the virtual console on the Wii U, and or freaking make it maybe a physical copy of somehow, somehow, some way. And we will, you know, we'll you'll get like whatever percent of the game or whatever you get we get full rights or you get half rights or you get 38 we get 60 so i don't know whatever but i don't get why nintendo doesn't do this a lot because there's been a lot of fan-made pokemon zelda mario donkey kong fucking i don't know what else games right now that's been in for the Met, uh, no metroid for the for the, the nintendo franchise stuff so i don't get why they don't just do that sorry i'm a little sick a little but, um, I don't get that. I, I don't. I don't. But, it, it's just it's stupid. It, it's straight up stupid. So, if you want to get this game right away, I would just please, please go to the download link below. Or just go to, like, Metroid2 Remake at blogpost.com or something like that. So, yeah. This game is just a graphical upgrade, a gameplay upgrade, literally everything upgrade com including the music details and just anything gameplay everything like I said from the uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus on the Game Boy so yeah I don't really have much else to say now the thing is I, I the thing is for me being not getting this game because I don't have a Windows computer I would love to just have the game I would love if someday somebody puts this game on like I don't know a uh, on a repro cart or something on the Super Nintendo or 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 repro it somehow on like I don't know a hacked Wii U console or something I don't know something like that but still this can work wonders for like a lot of things and it's just surprising like I said that Nintendo's doing stuff like this so but anyways that's my theory speculation update reaction whatever I really say about them still I didn't know this game was in 10 years of development. I didn't even know it existed until recently. Thank you for everybody on Twitter and also on YouTube, especially Game Explain, telling me about this game so I can do some more research about this game and all that stuff in general. But the thing is, I can't get it. And hopefully you guys can't get it, not like myself, because, well, I just can't play it. So, so once again, thank you for watching. If, if you are, you know, informed at all about this or, you know, got hyped to play this game or just want to spread the word to all other Metroid fans or Nintendo fans in general or if just fan uh fan uh fan I don't know how you say it. fan hack rom games whatever people that make them all the time uh send out the word that don't lose hope there's always a way past this I know there is but for right now Nintendo is asking them to take down this game from their website so there's nothing I can really do or say to you know suppose that but it is sad enough to say that, regardless. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys all for the next uh, discussion video, alright? Bye!